in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed never allow anything take your joy it's a commitment that i made with my life can i tell you joy has a health value in your life joy has a finance value in your life joy has a um, all wise it profits you when you know how to be joyful so there are many of us here by this by this word you need to repent of all this gloominess and you refuse yourself from sleeping and you wake up in the night asking all kinds of questions no give him joy and give him praise you go to the office tomorrow and they look at you and say are you aware that the discussion throughout last week was on you well it may not be the best but i give god praise you kick your car on monday morning and it looks like it's not starting you don't complicate the issues by almost destroying what is left in the car you just give God praise. You're driving and someone almost looks like he wants to just hit you. And you can squeeze your hand through the window because you want to insult the person. No. Obtain the maturity to bring back your hand. I choose to rejoice. I choose to live a life of joy. Prophesy to yourself. It's a choice. I choose to live a life of joy. Someone is speaking. Principalities and powers are hearing you. I choose to live a life of joy. Let your situations and circumstances hear you. It's a choice that in the name of Jesus, here in Abuja, in the name of Jesus, across Europe, everywhere, in ministry, in business, in my pursuit, in my career, I choose joy joy go ahead and pray just one minute before we continue my hands to honor you because your word is true i lift my hands to honor you. your word is true that i will have my baby your word is true that i'm the head and not the tail your word is true that I am above and not beneath. Because your word is true, I will see. So when I lift my hands, it's not because I know the answer. I know his word is true. And the Bible has already given me comfort that while I look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen he already tells me the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen someone needs to begin to look at things that are unseen the greatness that is before you the anointing and the mantle that is at the other side the other side of your tears the other side of your pain man of god do not give up in ministry it looks like things are not working but you are still called the hand of god is upon you let no man despise the grace and the gifting of God upon your life. Let no man despise your ministry. Let no man despise the investment of the Spirit upon your family, upon your destiny. It does not yet appear, but the hand of God is still on you. I lift my hands to honor you. I lift my hands to honor you. Hallelujah. We have to wrap up. Number five.
and then we pray that a man can sit on the ground and yet worship powerful you would think the only way to worship is to lift your hands and jump but it is possible to also sit on the ground even in shame even in pain even in seeming defeat and yet worship are you ready for number five the fifth key every time you step into seasons where things don't seem to be working in your life please listen to me you must obtain grace to engage the prophetic the prophetic is a weapon of power when it is administered within the boundary of scripture that every time you are in seasons that look like the day of adversity you will need the prophetic they are taken for a prey and none say it restore there has to be a voice other than you that can speak restoration there has to be a voice other than you that can speak lifting are we together now when samaria was in decadence hunger we've shared it here women were eating their children then came this strange prophet of god and he made a declaration by the spirit by this time tomorrow moses came and held his staff and told the nation of israel god has seen your pain for these years and he has sent me as a deliverer all you need to do is to believe god and to believe me i am going to pharaoh and he stood before pharaoh he said pharaoh time up thus saith the lord god of the hebrews let my people go when the plagues began to come pharaoh said no 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 this is too much let the men go leave the women and the children moses said no way we are going plus our cattle everything I have watched with with shock even to me at the way the prophetic works in the lives of people who understand it and engage it i have had the honor and the privilege to speak over people over impossible situations that sometimes even me the man of god who was used to minister to them i can almost say my god will this situation turn around and then I'm not telling you what I studied. I am telling you a reality. This is by the privilege of God's mercy. I know what the prophetic can do. When, when a genuine prophetic mantle from a man of God's lips, a prophetic anointing, a spoken word, backed up by the integrity of God's word, when it lands over your situation, you just step back and watch it work wonders in your life. I told you here and I've shared this with you the prophetic does not just reveal listen to me the prophetic creates the prophetic can lift a man from your yesterday into your tomorrow believe me and you have come tonight to encounter that dimension of the prophetic this meeting will not be over until that word comes upon your life listen to me because to live an overcoming life god himself designed these principles the prophetic engaged with understanding and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved he says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established I, I say this with, with every sense of respect and, and I don't mean to brag, please forgive me, but there is a level of arrogance that is in the world today that will keep punishing many people and they will keep going through needless pain 
because of the arrogance of neglecting the prophetic in as much as i know as i would always observe that mistakes have been made here and there in the body of christ people have you know mismanaged the prophetic but can i tell you it is an error if you find yourself ignoring the prophetic in one night i mean literal 24 hour one night god is able to through the vehicle of the prophetic lift people listen please come let me use one person to show you how the prophetic works anyone come you stand here there are times where the normal way to climb this is by walking climb up this is how to walk normally is that true please go back there are times that there can be challenges right here and you are attempting to climb now please take one step and stay there the destiny is that you climb right here but there are all kinds of things stopping you at that point hold my hands the prophetic are you ready to jump prophetic does not just take you one step it will stand and push you like this are we together now thank you the prophetic does not follow the sequence of the natural course of things no it is a dimension outsourced as a system of advantage yes sir the mysteries of the kingdom that can help men to rise one prophetic word over your business one prophetic word over your ministry you can be fasting and praying by yourself god is not stupid to have given gifts in the body this is where sometimes believers we have to be careful you know we have this mindset oh look don't worry about you you just love god alone and know him for yourself listen to me god himself set in motion these these offices in the body of christ it is an advantage for the saints even when paul encountered jesus he still went back to the body for the continuity of his growth i was so honored and blessed when you know his excellency the ambassador came and he was just jumping and celebrating jesus and in as much as it looked very funny and childlike i said this man will never remain at the same level he has found a key that many people do not have the maturity to find when the ark was being restored david was dancing and rejoicing and thanking god and his own wise wife came and said no 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 this is not royalty you are bringing shame to yourself and, and dishonor and david said i am i am he told saul's daughter he says i am rejoicing before the lord who took the kingdom from your father and gave me so that he will not now take it from me and give someone else the bible says god had the rubbish she was saying and she died barren can i tell you this i'm not indoctrinating you negatively you are intelligent people there is a way the prophetic can be administered that makes people behave like animals that's not what i'm teaching you here but i am telling you this if you have the faith to receive the prophetic ladies and gentlemen your life can literally change overnight it's true The prophetic has rules the first rule is faith faith in god and faith in the vessel rule number two honor honor to god and honor to the vessel these are the rules of the prophetic it does not just work arbitrarily no no please help them the prophetic has rules faith in god and faith in the vessel he will use please help them I'm, I'm seeing angelic activities in this place now just help them please just help them you know when you begin to teach like this the bible calls the angels that they walk in partnership with the word to confirm the words of his servant so that's what is happening right now i'm seeing several angelic activities just help people because people are already receiving all kinds of impartations I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I waked 
for the Lord sustained me but thou O oh Lord art a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh Lord had a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head hallelujah i remember one time a gentleman who was i think he was that something happened and they relieved him from his job and when he came and met me usually i would just pray and tell him trust god for another job and the holy spirit spoke to me he said prophesy to him that you are making decrees that he is going back to that job and it was a very good job uh, when I said it I could see the guy saying sir you don't know this is a XYZ oil company I said what is my business who among them can create oil are they not mining it the one who created the oil is now making a decree listen I lie not probably the person is even here or maybe he's listening it was within three days three days and it was a very very strange thing that one of the executive members who is a christian a member of a, a popular church in this nation had a dream and in that dream a voice spoke to him and said bring back this young boy that this young boy is an asset he got up met with his fellow executives when they called him and he called me i said next time enjoy your testimony but next time do not be unwise not every man of god is a herbalist and not everybody is stupid i will not come before an intelligent congregation globally like this and just make a caricature of your pedigree and your intelligence except that this works believe me it does the prophetic can change literally 180 degrees the tides of someone's life but the challenge is that most people just say amen but they don't believe truly they don't thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head ah. thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head. I'm about to pray for you now and declare that this prophetic dimension you must experience it this night there has to be a word that will come because many of you you are going through all kinds of seasons right now and I want you to know that there are weapons in this kingdom that can help us live the overcomers life we are overcomers it is true who came here in this auditorium i'm not doing personal prophecy now i'm going to speak but the lord just put it there's a woman who came here you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb this is why you came here please who is that person very quickly i just want to pray for you the lord wants to visit you now Help her. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you the highest. We give you the loudest, yeah. the loudest praise to the King. We lift up holy hands. The praise to the King. We lift up holy hands. The praise to the King. We give you, we give you, we give you the highest praise. We give you, we give you, we give you the highest. There's such a powerful anointing in front of you. I'm going to pray for you now. 
Muimaka, 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 We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. Give you worship, worship, highest praise to the King. We bow down, we bow down, the deepest worship to the King. I want to pray for you, and I want you to believe you will marvel and wonder at what the prophetic is able to do just place your hand on your stomach the power of god is strong upon you every one of you no you just just on your dress now you don't have to father in the name of jesus that they may know that you are the one true god right now i decree and declare for those of you who are in front here and those who are following by way of media an anointing is coming on you now in the name of jesus i decree and declare may that power if there be any spirit that is responsible for any delay in childbirth i command that you go out now out now out now out now in the name of jesus out now out my god the sun, i'm seeing fire just resting on you i decree and declare we cause that spirit now according to the time of life i stretch my hands return with your miracle children single children twins triplets receive it in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare it doesn't matter how it has been before now i announce to you by the god of heaven let that condition change now you will return back and you will return for many of you you will not exceed one month you will see that you have taken in already and so shall it be in the name of jesus christ please return to your seat very quickly hallelujah if you are in business here just lift your hands i just sense that anointing like really you are not just that you are doing by the way but you are really into this thing i want to pray for you i want you to believe god father please agree with me as i declare you will be surprised because there are some of you things have been tied down this is what i see in the realm of the spirit there are doors that should have opened but I'm seeing powers tying it down. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the ministry of the prophetic, between now and the next one month, I speak to you by the Spirit of God. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange test. Help them, please. Return with strange testimonies. Can someone help this woman, please? Return with strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ hear me every financial door that has refused to open we have been commanded to bless therefore i declare in addition to your diligence in addition to your value in addition to the products and the services that you are involved with i place this prophetic edge upon the works of your hands go and prosper go and prosper go and prosper Go and prosper. Let me pray for people who have gone down spiritually. Different aspects of your life. Because of the challenges over your life. Your prayer life has gone down. Your word study life has gone down. Some of you even hate church. You hate the house of God. You don't want anything to do with God again. I'm praying right now let fire from heaven rest upon your destiny now fresh seal for the things of god fresh seal for prayer fresh seal for fasting fresh seal for the study of the word fresh love for the house of god
every long standing issue that has refused to give way in your life that has lingered more than necessary in the name of Jesus this night we bring it to an end this night we bring it to an end for some of you this week will not pass before you receive your letters new season for you and let me pray for those who are in ministry now is not the time to be discouraged now is not the time to be discouraged there are mantles there are graces that god wants to release upon people now is not the time to falter now is not the time to draw back i decree and declare over your church over your ministry over your prayer platform over whatever platform god is using to help you serve his purposes i decree and declare may grace rest upon it now now hear me i want to pray particularly for families that either have been bereaved or have gone through all kinds of losses or are currently going through circles and patterns of pain you don't have to come out but i want to minister the power of god right now listen to me grief is a spirit and is a dangerous spirit that must never be allowed in your vicinity regardless the guys grief is a terrible spirit it is a spirit that can reproduce its results in the life of an individual i want to speak to you now for everyone who has gone through or is going through situations of pain many of you delay in your expectations many of you persecutions criticisms all kinds of tribulations many of you sorrow upon sorrow but I want to speak to you now. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Ah. Hey, hey. Let hope rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Now I decree and declare. For all those who have been bereaved, all those who are being bereaved, all those who are going through all kinds of challenges, inexplainable, many of them, find the peace of God now. <laughs> Father, you who is the Prince of Peace, administer the peace that surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let me echo the voice of the Spirit to you it shall be for you for a testimony 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 hear me joseph looked at his brothers and said while you meant it for evil that god is able to turn it for good i decree again one more time it shall be for you for a testimony hear me the final prayer tonight before I make the altar call is the staying power to go through these seasons. The Bible says, if you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. For some of you, the word of the Lord for you tonight is hold on. You have come too far to go back. Hold on. God sent you to Abuja. You are about to relocate and go away and saying i'm tired of this city i've lived a frustrated life god is ministering to you hold on i'm still walking allow me to finish what i am doing god sent you to ministry and it looks like nothing is working help this woman hold on god is ministering to you hold on hold on god told you to do what you are doing and you are still failing in it hold on hold on He's dependable. You can trust him. Man of God.
just because you have not prophesied does not mean you are not a prophet he is making you hold on hold on woman of power woman of grace just because he has not given you a platform yes does not mean you are not called hold on while he walks on you hold on hold on that is the prophetic word hold on don't give up you have gone too far hold on hold on in the name of jesus you hold on you have to return from this service knowing that i am not giving up i have received the strength to finish that the same energy it takes to go back is the same energy it takes you lost a job apply for another one you did a business and it failed start another one you did ministry and it looked like it's not working settle down and find out what you might be doing wrong and get back again one thing that you will not fail to do is to continue i've taken in 30 times 20 times 10 times 15 times five times and it looks like it's not worked go back again again is a powerful word again means hope again means god is not done again means there is no full stop and adam knew his wife again and they who fell yesterday rose again i decree and declare the strength that you need for the journey that is ahead there is a lot that god has in store in this end time for people across several areas in ministry career business i decree and declare the strength from heaven that can empower a man to stand in the midst of challenges and yet rejoice and yet continue may that strength rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ while standing i'm not going to waste your time you've had the sermon you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus jesus i need you desperately you are saying i desire him with all my heart i desire to love him with everything i'm tired of playing church tired of playing religion i truly want you wherever you are or you are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life I, I i can't call the name of what i am doing the faith work i need to start afresh wherever you are all the overflows especially inside and the galleries i'm going to count one to five very quickly we are out of time i want you to run and come and stand before jesus now it's not compulsory you can choose to stay back but the lord is giving you an opportunity now remember that decisions decide destiny come Come running, come running, come running to the mercy seat. Flow truly. I'm running. Run to Jesus run to jesus everything starts with him mm. everything hallelujah 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 three i'm counting to five let's minimize movement so that we honor this altar call now please look at me and all those who are responding to this call from your homes from wherever it is we're here because we believe in jesus he is the savior he is the lord the author of wisdom the one who empowers everything that has been taught here for those of you who have come out here i celebrate and truly congratulate you for making this noble decision rebels don't come to jesus they run away from him that you have come to him is proof that you respect his lordship now please may i request that you lift your right hand high above your head and i want you to say this from the 
depth of your heart Jesus is here let it be from the depth of your heart say after me Lord Jesus mean it from your heart whether you're rededicating your life or making this decision the first time go ahead say Lord Jesus tonight I declare that I believe in you I believe that you are Savior I believe that you are Redeemer I decree and declare based on the authority of Scripture that from today you are my Savior you are my Lord you are my King I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today till forever I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb a recipient of the life of God keep your hands lifted father thank you for these blessed hands and these precious people who have come to declare your lordship over their lives by the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven and I declare over you that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over your life in the name of Jesus and now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified I declare that by the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit you will continue to grow from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen thank you for this decision um, I want you to follow the counselors they are waving the placard please just follow them they'll have a minute or two with you and you'll be back to your seat let's honor and celebrate them let's honor and celebrate them thank you dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline